how to tell if she's wifey material. All right. How to tell the girl you've met or dealing with or seeing or dating or fucking his wifey material. You can follow me, but you don't know me. You can like a pick, but you don't know me. Hate it cause I get it, but you don't know me. Keep talking shit, nigga, but you don't know me. You can follow me, but you don't know me. You can like a pick, but you don't know me. What's up? It's your boy Drip Mac. Welcome back. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share, hit the comments, let's discuss, follow me on Instagram, on fucking TikTok. Fuck, I'm, I'm doing TikToks now. Can you imagine? I never thought I'd be doing fucking TikToks, but hey. It is what it is. All right. Today, I have a simple question for y'all. Well, you had a question for me. I'm here to answer it. Salud. How to tell if she's wifey material. All right. How to tell the girl you've met or dealing with or seeing or dating or fucking his wifey material. First and foremost, does she really likes you? By that I mean, does she check up on you? Is she responsive? Are you guys FaceTiming? Does she misses you? Does she ask to see you? Does she make the first steps in asking to see you? If it only goes one way, you, 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 she's not into you. This dating and relationship and love shit goes both ways. It's a two-way street. You go that way, she go that way. You guys meet in the middle. And you're jigging over here in the middle. If you keep going and going and going and she's at home, she's not. I don't care how good looking she is. She's not wifey material. And that's where most of y'all fucked up. Because as soon as an average dude gets some great looking pussy... Yeah, I jump over the fucking bridge for the chick. Meanwhile, she was not into you. She's not wifey material. Second, she is not superficial. That's how you know. If a woman is not superficial, no matter what kind of lifestyle you have, she would be content just being with you. All right? She won't pay attention to a better guy that approach her, that talks to her, that come across her radar because she doesn't, she doesn't care about this shit, all right? If you have a girl, for example, that loves designer bags, right? That means that in her back of her mind, she'll always have the, the thought of what if my man was richer? I could have more bags. Especially if you're a guy that cannot provide this lifestyle for your girl. Then any man that she see passing by with a nice car that approach her with some jewelry on or maybe a celebrity or something. That's a chance for her to slide to the other side and cheats and whatnot. Because she's attracted to the flashy lifestyle. So if you have a girl that shop at H&M and don't give a fuck about designer. A friend of mine is dating this chick, right? He bought her a designer purse one time and the chick got mad. She's like, why are you spending all this money on this thing? Return it. I don't want that. I just want to be with you. This and do that. You return the shit. I was like, oh my God, you're going to fall in love, bro. Because I already knew it. Because these women nowadays in this era are fucking rare. Rare. You know what I mean? So if you have a girl that is not superficial, that's a fucking great sign for a wifey material. That, for a wifey material. That's mean no matter what life stake you are, you could be real successful today. Hit a rough patch next year. 
she'll get you back no matter what. She won't be like, oh, what the fuck am I doing with you? You can't do this, you can't do that, we're struggling. She won't say that. She will have your back because all the extra shit that came with you, it was just a bonus to her. She don't give a fuck about it. All right? Third thing that's a girl nowadays is wifey material. She ain't got no problem putting her hand on her own pocket. Meaning that if you are going on a date, you are meeting at a restaurant, she won't say the word that I dislike the most. Uber me. These two words, I hear them, I block you. I had this chick from my city, right? Like, I went on a few dates with her. Maybe, not even a few. I think one or two. Like, ass was, uh, like, that face was pretty. You know what I mean? But I never, I never, I never got it. So, a couple, she came to my CD visiting and stuff. So, we connected on WhatsApp. We like, not WhatsApp, Snapchat. And, you know, like, I was like, hey, oh, what's she, and she told me, hey, we should meet up and do something. I'm like, bet, let's do it. You know what I mean? To me, I get, damn, it's about that time. You know, so I was like, hey, why are you staying? She was staying, like, further away from me. I was like, damn, you're far. I guess we're going to have to figure out what's going on over there and what's not. She's like, oh, just Uber me. That shit give me chills all the way through my back to my spine. Oh, like, I stopped talking to her just for that. Simple as that. When somebody shows you who they are, pay fucking attention. How are you going to tell somebody to pay for your ride? Pay f like, to me, that's the brokest shit ever in the fucking world. I don't care about, like, being a gentleman and whatnot. If I'm a gentleman, I will offer to do gentleman shit for you. Don't tell me open my door, nigga. Let me go and open your door. If you ask, if you demand of me to open your door, I'll smack that shit in front of your face so fucking hard you wish you never fucking met me. That's the kind of nigga I am, all right? I don't play these fucking dumb ass shit games. I'm way too old for those. And so should y'all. You get what I'm saying? Like, never let a woman get away with disrespect, no matter how tiny it is. All right? Because every single little disrespect, she getting one pound of muscle on your motherfuckers. All right? And the woman going to find you more attractive when you put her in a place than when you say, Yes, baby. Okay, let me go up and open the door for you. Fuck you. Let me say it again. Fuck you. Uber me, bitch. I have cars. Like the last time a chick prior to her told me like, oh, send me an Uber. I'm like, I own three cars. I don't have Uber. But you mean you don't have Uber? Exactly what I said. I have three cars. Why the fuck would I have an Uber for? I don't get drunk in the street. I drive. She was shocked. I shut that shit down right away. It's nothing for me to fucking pay $25 right to your fucking broke ass apartment. It's not for me. It's the fucking principle. Right? Deal with who aligns with who you are as a person or who you want to be. Don't lower your shit for some broke ass bitches that pretend to be fucking rich. And I don't want to sound bitter, but they should get on my fucking nerve. Like a whole lot of girl pretending, oh, I want this and that. Meanwhile, they can't even afford one tenth of that this and that. Like, make it make sense. You know what I mean? Like, so you have a girl that pays for her own Uber, Ubers or you have a girl that pays for her own Ubers and rides and shit. That's a good sign. If she don't ask you to pay something for her to meet you for a date, then it's not a fucking exchange. Because to me, like, if you can ask me to pay for it to get there, I'm, I can ask you, am I going to get my dick sucked after? You want something to get gift for you? I want something to get for me. You know what I mean? Like, we're going tick for tack. You know, but hey, of course, they won't like that shit. Oh, God forbid a man will be honest with a chick. Oh, cancel. Can you imagine if Will Smith did half of the shit? Did. Said half of the shit that Jada said about him? They would have canceled that light skin nigga so fucking fast. Like, we would never see any of the fucking I Robot or I Am Legend on any fucking streaming platform ever. They would call him so disrespectful, so this, so... What's that name I, I got called the other day? 
misogynistic. I'm such, I don't even know what, I had to fucking Google all this shit. I was like, what? So you think I hate women? That will fucking make me gay. I love bitches. Doesn't mean I need to take every fucking bullshit from every chicks out there. Hell the fuck no. Look at me. Hell the fuck no. So y'all should have that same mentality. Come with confidence. Keep your head fucking high and be like, hell the fuck no. Don't care how fucking good looking she look. Hell the fuck no. Another way. If she's wifey material. Like she doesn't let you spend your money. On her or for her or with her on some dumb shit. Like my boy with the purse shit. Doesn't let him. She didn't let him spend that money. Because for her that was fucking worthless. Like. You want to take her to I'd say a nice five star restaurant. She'd be like oh hell no that's too expensive. Babe. I don't need that you know. I'd be like oh. You don't need that. Now I would want to take you even more. Because you're showing me that. You're not like every other fucking. Hood rat out there in the streets. That's a fucking amazing sign right there. She doesn't let you spend your own money. Which you shouldn't be spending crazy money in the beginning anyway. You know what I mean? Like, no. I'm at what? Fifth? Fifth one. A chick that buys you stuff. As small as she comes to your place and she buy a fucking... Eggs, bacon, and bread to, to make some breakfast the next day. Simple as that. That's $12. Well, nowadays, more like fucking 30 Oh, I shouldn't be fucking crying because it's so true. A bacon, egg, and some fucking bread is more like $40 now, babe. God damn. I understand why people are fucking stealing and scamming. I'm crazy now. Moving on. She buys you stuff. Oh, I saw you, your lotion in the bathroom was almost finished. I bought you a new one. Oh, I saw that perfume that you always wear. I like it. I bought you one. Like a woman that buys a guy's stuff that she just met or just started dating. That's like, cha-ching, you hit the fucking jackpot, bro. You know what I mean? Like you hit the fucking jackpot. That's wifey material to the limit. All right. She buys you stuff. She goes out of her way. Put her hand in her pocket. She thinks about you when she's on her free time at work and whatnot. When she goes to Target, she thinks she, she, she remembered that you were missing two forks and you draw her. Then she buy you a whole pack of new forks. I don't give a fuck what it is. It's the talk that fucking counts. Guy go crazy spending crazy amount on a date and girls don't give two fucks about it. I know girls that backs up two, three days in one fucking day. You get what I'm saying? Basically, she have fucking breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know what I mean? Like, so you have one chick that do the little thing for you. That's a keeper right there. And last but not least, the best way to know if your chick is wifey material. Yes, the best way. Time. Time. It takes time to really get to know someone. Even if she fulfill all the sick shit I just mentioned. Time is the ultimate one. Do not rush into calling this chick your girl. Saying I love yous. Putting a ring on the bitch. Introducing her to your whole family and shit. Give it time because all this list is cute and shit but guess what everybody can pretend this whole list easily anybody can pretend it but Jeezy said it only so long fake dog can pretend that mean anything you can fake you can only fake it for so long before you you get out of character you get what I'm saying so give it time before you put a ring on the chick. I say rule of fucking three. Should wait at least three years before you put a ring on a chick. Before you get too deep with the chick, you need to at least try to live with her. And that shouldn't come any fucking fast either. Because if a chick wants to move with you the next month, 
She was probably homeless. Like you were way out. Don't let that shit happen. Even if you miss, even if it's not moving with you, but she ended up at your place sleeping with you every single time. It's a red flag. Even if you're bored and you're lonely, send her home after a, a couple of nights here and there. You had sex, oh babe, I'm sorry, you have something to do. Send her home, see how she reacts. I was dating with, I was dating this chick, right? Every time we had sex, she would sleep. Oh, but after that, I'm sex, for, you know, knock out sleep. Till one day I was like, okay, this is too much now. So one night I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, I gotta go. You're mad. Oh, what you mean? Oh, I feel disrespected. I'm like, why would you feel disrespected? But come to find out where she lived, I understood why she would want to stay in my fucking place all the damn time. <laughs> you get what I'm saying, right? It was straight like that. You know, you shouldn't feel disrespected that I have my place, you have yours, we have sex. Okay, this one night, we're not sleeping in the same bed like I'm need, I need you to pack your shit and fucking go back home. You shouldn't feel disrespected. You should respect my fucking wishes. But that's that's the woman attitude right there. Oh, how, how, how do you start to come up with a whole bunch of shit? So yeah, yeah, should do that. Yeah, I need to test who you are fucking with to see if they are they fit that wifey material shit in case you're thinking about something more seriously. Don't fucking jump like dive at first like and hit the water bang like no. Nah. Take your fucking time. Yeah, because yeah, some of you are too fucking thirsty. I'm talking about guys, yeah, guys fucking too thirsty. Chill the fuck out, alright? Give that shit time. Get your money up. Hit the link in my bio to start your YouTube automation fucking journey, all right? This boy, this white boy, Matt Poor, is the king at doing faceless YouTube channels and get paid while he fucking sleep. I have two of those. You should start doing one. If a few of you guys ain't got your money up, that would be the number one thing you should do, you know what I mean? Like, support the channel. Hit that thing up. Follow me on Instagram. All my links are there. Some of y'all are fat and doesn't look great. Hit my fucking fitness Instagram. Send me a DM ready to know that you're ready to fucking work and put that work in to make yourself better, all right? So you have a link to get your money up. You have a link to get your shape up, all right? You join my Patreon also. Any question, you get fucking first day back my videos and whatnot and more perks to come. Support your boy, all right? Like, subscribe, hit the notification. See y'all next time. Drip. Don't know me, keep talking shit, nigga, but you don't